I love awesome clients, man. I've been working at this house today uh, for about two hours so far this morning. Uh, right now, I'm heading to Home Depot to get a few, uh, just to get a few extra materials, and they're gonna head back and do a few more jobs. But this morning, I worked with the client. Um, we set up some some of those wind sails that you get. Uh, I don't. It, it, they look pretty cool. I'll show you guys when we get back to the house. But uh, that was kind of fun because it was like troubleshooting, like what the best angles to put them up at and all that. So. It was fun doing that and you know had a lot of cool ideas so right now i'm heading to home depot getting some uh pot lights to put in some cabinets um and then a few other things um then once we get back from home depot we're gonna get back to work well actually i'm gonna take some lunch when i get back um but uh, we'll be getting to that so today's gonna be cool got some did those sales gonna um gonna do some electrical so that's fun uh, there's already an electrical issue going on at the house right now uh her fiance uh did some did some electrical over the weekend and uh, one of the GFCIs isn't resetting so I think something's going on with the outlet that he did so we're gonna take a look at that see what's going on there um, and get that fixed because that's on the same circuit where we need to install our pot lights so uh, yeah today's gonna be a great day let's get to it okay I'm looking for like a little pot light that you would put inside a cabinet uh, all they got like is like this style stuff but I'm afraid that won't really work. I, I'd like like a two inch, like a two inch deal um, to go into this cabinet. I don't, I know they exist, but I don't know if they sell them here at Home Depot. I gotta kind of keep looking around here, see if I can find something that'll work. Okay, I think these will work. I think kind of these, these uh, puck lights will work because they don't necessarily need to be inset into the cabinet. Just kind of set up top and then we can uh, wire up through the top there. But I think these are gonna do the trick something like this got to kind of figure out which one we want to go with okay i think we've made the decision here of these uh led puck lights they are plug-in or direct wire we're going to be direct wiring them i wanted to highlight uh, one of the tools from a few jobs ago so this is this is my flexible drill bit here that i have and then these are the adapters that you can get for them uh this is a little bit i think this is klein tools i don't remember what brand mine is um or you could get this set here which comes with all your stuff for pulling that and then get the adapter that's Klein tools makes that one but uh, that's my flexible drill bit right there works pretty good just want to show you guys kind of what it is and where I so on a few videos ago there was everyone just commented or a few people commented and said like 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 lol <laughs> and I'm like what are these guys talking about like do they like the video that much but then I went back and watched it I'm like well maybe they mean that I am saying like a lot <laughs> So I went back and watched it, and I said like a lot in that video, and I think I do in most of my videos, so pretty funny. Uh, like, we're going to, like, totally go to this house and, like, finish this job up, you know? Like, you know what I'm talking about? Like, like totally. <laughs> I don't know. I got a st funny story about that. So when I was in high school, we, we were given a presentation one time, and we recorded the presentation, and, and when we watched the recording, we were just cracking up at how many times all of us, like, it was four people giving the presentation, how much each one of us said the word like like we counted it <laughs> it was crazy so um this fascination or whatever with the word like it, it runs deep and i uh, i've used the word like a lot in my life so i'm probably going to be using it a lot more in the vlogs i don't mean to always say like but uh sometimes that happens so we're going to totally get to this job and uh, finish it up I think I found the issue. Oh yeah? Yay! Yeah. It's uh well two things. This this uh screw doesn't work so the wires were loose, but he also had them reversed or whatnot, so but yeah this Fire. one <laughs> this one doesn't screw in so I'm gonna have to use the one I bought. Okay?
Okay, gonna take power from this guy to my two pot lights. It comes from that switch there. All right, here's the uh, sale project that we were working on earlier this morning. So we set up all these. Say, oh, here's the here's the outdoor TV that I installed um, on that last video. But see, they got this cover for it. But anyway, these are, these are the sails that we hooked up. We're going to do one adjustment. We have this one like tethered to this tree here. We're going to move that up a little bit higher, uh, just that first one. We kind of like how these other three turned out. But we're going to move this one. But uh, yeah, so right now I'm going to be working on installing some uh, cabinet door poles. Have you guys ever seen, this is kind of like a little jig for it. You kind of put it on the door, it gives you a right angle, and then you can uh, drill into specific holes in the same hole every single time. So it makes it a whole lot quicker, so you don't got to keep measuring every single time, but we're going to get to... here where I'm going to drill my bigger hole. This is just my pilot hole. When I'm going to drill my bigger hole, I put this on the back so there's no blowout. these guys installed so looking good on to the next one also another project that I did at this house but I didn't record uh, let me turn some lights on is installing this bathroom vent fan this one's actually pretty cool because it has like a sensor in it so it senses whenever you walk into the room so it doesn't need a switch uh, it senses when you walk in the room it also has a humidity sensor and a timer so it'll go off after a certain amount of minutes and also whenever it reaches a certain humidity inside this room it turns on so installed that last time I was here so that was pretty fun. I never really explained what happened with those puck lights uh, that I was doing in the over the wine bar. Um, the puck lights I got from Home Depot are just not the right style. I thought they were the style where the wires go up through the back of it but they actually come out the side of it. So the reveal is not going to be nice so we're going to hold off on that. We're going to do that next Wednesday. Um, they're going to order some of the right puck lights off Amazon and then we'll get going on that. But uh, So just got to clean up here from, uh, from my uh, job installing these door poles here. Um, Got to clean everything up.
Okay, what we got is we got power running through there behind the baseboard and to our ring doorbell. So that's a wrap for this one. All right, what an awesome day. What an awesome day, man. Uh, it's so great when you're working with awesome clients, uh, for sure. Like th this client is super fun and it's, it's fun working with people that are like chill and fun and it's it's really, it's not like working. It's like you're just hanging out and you're doing doing work at a friend's house. Like it's just fun, you know? She had her other friend over, so her and her friend, they were just painting the whole day, painting the inside of the house. So I was kind of just working, we were joking, listening to music. It was a fun day, man. It was like, you know, just hanging out. It's great. I don't, I think I've explained to you guys my marketing funnel and kind of how I figure out, you know, who my ideal customer is and what I kind of market or what I funnel them through so that I can always work with my ideal customer. Worked out great, absolutely worth it. I love working with people that want to work with me and really respect me and kind of my needs and my family and my business and all that. Just super great, super fun. So I'm not completely done with my day yet. I am done at that project, but I gotta go to the dump. I've been talking to going to the dump for like a week now. If you can see my, the back of my truck is just horrible, like so much fence stuff. Uh, actually, one guy at Home Depot came up to me and he's like, hey man, you can't have that much stuff in the back of your truck. It's gonna fall out on the freeway. And I'm like, all right, you know, I'm gonna go to the dump, this and that. <laughs> but it, just some, some guy, you know. Um, but yeah, I need to go to the dump for sure. So I'm heading to the dump and then I need to go to Home Depot and do some returns because my trailer is even worse because I just got it packed full of stuff. I need to return. Like I got some big fence posts and fence pickets and this and that that I need to return. Uh, just so I can have my trailer back. But uh, so some of the logistics of that job right there, I was there for a total of six hours. I didn't quite finish those puck lights um, and it worked out good. They needed the cabinets to stay down anyways because they're gonna paint that little cubby. Um, so we're gonna leave the cabinets down. I'm coming back next Wednesday to finish those puck lights. They're gonna order some new puck lights off of Amazon, ones that they want that'll work better where the, uh, where the wires actually come out the back rather than the side so the reveal will be a lot nicer. Um, so I, I, I was at this project for a total of six hours. Uh, total bill was $575, so pretty good day. Um, I'm gonna finish up the puck light job on Wednesday and that'll be another bill. Like So the bill that I sent them today um, is, is just for the, the half of the puck light job that I did thus far. Um, so yeah, pretty good day. So uh, that's the logistics for that job. I am heading to the dump now, then gonna go to Home Depot. So I really appreciate y'all. And I thank y'all so much for tuning in. And I will see y'all in the next video. Have a great day.